Hey, everybody. Welcome to Grounded in Truth. Yesterday, get, can you guess where I was yesterday? <laughs> I was at the Celebrity Center in Hollywood, the Scientology Celebrity Center. And we were out in force um, creating a conversation about Scientology and all the things that just don't add up. <laughs> um, we were there to support each other and to support anyone who's been affected by abuse uh, of any kind. Um, I count myself among those people. And um, I was grateful to, to be able to, to have a car that would drive me down there and back without any problems. And I have my camera and I could take pictures. And yes, my back is very sore today because I have a bad back and I did a lot of walking. But I got these beautiful photographs and that, that are documenting a moment in time. This is, these, are, these people are on the right side of history. Lara is using her everything she can. Um, Alexa from uh, Eat Predators. Like, so m where I am in my healing journey, if you want to call it that, is recognizing the fact that, and accepting the fact that, I can't stop narcissistic people or psychotic people. I can't stop them from existing, uh, which I've been trying to somehow. I don't know what I thought I was doing my, the whole rest of my life that I could, um, but it, does, it doesn't work that way. Um, what can we do? I believe we can use whatever we have in service of what we believe in. And I believe in freedom. And I believe in safety for children. And the people of Scientology are allowing their children to be abused and are actively abusing children. Um, I mean, that's just, that's just the first part. That's just the first part. That was the, the guy that got arrested. Um, I'm sure you've heard that story. He was a security guard. Um, but yeah, so the children are just the first part, and that's the only part that even actually matters to me. Um, when I think about all the atrocities, uh, well, it's, it's all very sad and disgusting, um, the things that Scientology does to their parishioners in the name of a, a religion, in the name uh, of a 501c3. And so, you know, what's occurring is... Scientology is using money from their whales, which are the people who donate large sums of money, and they're using, well, all their, I mean, okay, tax exempt. Let's just start there. They have tax exempt status, one, number one. Number two, they abuse children. So what else do you need to know? What other conversation needs to be had? I don't think there is one. Personally, I mean, so knowing that um, this protest was going on, I figured I had to go. So I did. And I got there late and I didn't get to see the guy get arrested or whatever. That whole, you know, um, their security guard w had, was detained for, I think he said, an hour and a half in the back of the cop car. And then they just let him go and he came, came right back with us. Um, but he is licensed to carry a, a firearm or a weapon, and he had one. And so somebody in Scientology, um, whatever, <laughs> tried to get him arrested, didn't work. And it didn't um, change any, I mean, nobody left because, you know, it just made everybody stronger um, and their voices louder because the injustice is real. The injustice of what's going on to the people inside Scientology. It's either, it, I would imagine, it's the people left in there or the people who can't acknowledge the fact that they gave this much of their lives and their income to a con um, and, and then their children. 
So I, I, at this point, you know, I just don't really understand. <sighs> I'd like to say I don't understand why they're still in, but I do because I do understand this kind of mind washing, um, this mind effery, if you will. Um, it's a very slow process uh, for most people. And kids don't have a choice. Kids are born in it or whatever. Their parents get into it. And so they don't, they're, they're not allowed to leave a room when someone's screaming at them all kinds of derogatory things and talking about adult uh, natured subjects and not just, you know, flippantly but like drilled on these things, drill, you know, I get really upset about it because as a victim of abuse myself, it's really hard. The Hollywood signs right there. It's really hard to accept the fact that it's still going on. This is a fact, you know what I mean? Like, so since I can't make bad people stop being bad, I can at least take pictures of what it, what's what courage and strength look like and, and that's everyone that was there because none of us well some of my f friends uh, I, w I, I would like to say that that we're all still here fighting but that's not true there have been many uh, deaths um, due to neglect and, and abuse and not just, I mean, not at all just in, in Scientology, but since, since this is something we can talk about, Scientology, to get eyes and ears on the abuses that are occurring, occurring like daily in our lifetimes, um, well, I'll, this is what I can do about it, you know? I can celebrate all these people. I can champion these people. I can honor these people and their courage and their strength and their willingness to to speak the truth uh, to power, regardless. Regardless. I mean, my mom used to say they they can. What is it? They can kill you, but they can't eat you. Like at this point, what do any of these ex-members of Scientology? have to lose i mean they they can endure all of the um shit that comes their way all the fair game um tactics they've already uh, they've been there they've done that they probably continue to do it it just it is it's just a part of life and if that's what if that's how it has to be well then this protest is what has to happen that's the apartments across the street um Look at, look at her. She's like, what is going on? And, uh, I love it. And the dust in the, in the air. This is what it looks like when people do what they believe in. And what, what they believe in is the strength of the human spirit. And that everyone should be able to live a life free of abuse and trauma. And if nobody speaks up for the kids, it's not going to get better. So I'm here to start a conversation, to point some people's eyes and ears at this one particular situation where there's massive abuse. And yet, and yet, we can smile. Why can we smile? Because we're here to support everyone, Every, the people who have lived through it and the people who haven't. And we all probably know both, if we're not one ourselves. That's a, uh, yeah, that's the Dianetics billboard that's right across the street. Look at these beautiful folks. Look at this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Laura and Karen. And La Poubelle, where Danny Masterson um, would put things in people's drinks and take them home and have his way with them, regardless of what they wanted or didn't want. That's why he's in prison right now, 
and will be there for at least 20 years, if we understand correctly. Um, there's, you know, new, new news all the time about, you know, bombs that are dropping in Scientology, things that are going on, things we don't know and we won't know for years, I'm sure, that are going on. This, this has never been done before. I mean, before the SP movement, SBTV movement, I mean, there is Anonymous, and that was a precursor, I suppose, in a way. But this is us, and these are our faces, and these are, this is what we choose to do, chose to do with our time. It's unacceptable. Coal is not a religion. There is a lot of support, by the way. If you're wondering, or you probably watched the videos that people, a bunch of people did live videos, um, but there is a ton of support with the people driving by. That was rad. It was great. It made me really happy. Because <clears throat> if, if a person is not creating their own vibe, their own morals, their own, like what, what, what one thinks is right and what one thinks is wrong and what's okay and what's like if you're not doing that with your life I don't know what you're doing because that's just how I have to do it and maybe I'm putting myself in harm's way maybe I'm not don't know don't care but again I've been victim of several different types of abuse so you know they can kill me but they can't eat me and I would do it again, and I will do it again. Anything that I can do to help anybody in Scientology, I think Liz said she was going to um, the gold base because her dad's birthday is soon or something. Um, if I can document that with photos, I will. Um, so anybody who wants access to these photographs, um, can you private message me on here? Or, I don't know what email is a good one. Hang on. Those were some of the branches that were taken away. This is Alexa from Eat Predators who organized this uh, protest. Um, I don't know who everybody is. I just know who a couple people are. Um, by name, like, I don't know if, if that even matters, but I do believe we had a couple of the Jane Doe's from the Danny Masterson trial there with us, um, standing with us. And I hope, I hope that this gives them whatever can be gotten from this, um, knowing that they are supported and respected um, and believed you know I hope that means something to them um, nobody can undo what has been done to them but you know we can start today moving forward um, just doing whatever we can to support each other so that's that's what I was doing yesterday I don't know if I've said this five million times, but thanks for your patience with my learning to edit. Um, that's not, I'm not an editor of movies. <laughs> I'm a photographer. So it, it comes weird to me. But anyway, let's, um, let's just look. Let's just be grateful. Did I tell the story about La Pubelle? Yes, I did. Okay. I just thought that was incredibly interesting. A great photograph. I loved seeing the dust in the light there. And Little Miss Dynamo. Um, this is what it looked like from across the street. There's that tree again. Like I said, I, these are not in order. Um, but yeah, this was our, our uh, security guy, or her security guy that was arrested and then let go because, and he was a, a former police LAPD himself. Um, eventually they just let him go because they didn't have anything on him. I think he said he had to sit in the back of the cop car in the sun for like an hour and a half. Um, I don't 
don't know, but this was, this was great. This is great. Seeing people do what they can do, you know, that's what I think I was saying earlier, is we can't control the fact that manip manipulative people exist, but we can arm ourselves um, and speak out and, and use whatever we can, um, whatever our gifts are or whatever, um, to shed light on the things that need to be discussed. They need to be looked at. They need to be, like a Jeff, the, the PI. Um, they need to be, this is not, it's just not acceptable in my lifetime. I just cannot stop going on about how unokay this is, how unacceptable it is. Um, but it was cool to be with people that, well, that was across the street, um, with people that, that feel the same way. This is not acceptable. Oh, there's a Hollywood sign way in the back. I have a, a picture I took um, in the 90s from that same spot, and it was not quite so lush. Uh, a, a Holly, yeah, I hadn't driven in Hollywood in a while. That was not something I enjoyed. It's so scary. I love this woman's S. Peeper. I said, I love this woman's kindness. I didn't get her name. But I like, <laughs> these signs are hilarious. Whoever, you, you're all just so friggin' clever. Um, oh yeah, so we were walking around the building um, chanting. And uh, I just watched a second of Liz's um, live right now, Liz Ferris, and that was across the street too. And she said, um, oh shit, what did she say? Well, I know she said she was losing her voice because she was yelling all day. Um, Oh, no, ooh, what was it? I don't know, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember what I was, that just, just how my brain works. Sometimes it works, <laughs> sometimes it just drops, drops things off and then I can't get back. But I like that irrational um, movie ad in the, in the bus thing, because it's just it's funny. And that was across the street too. I don't know what it has to do with, but I, I love graffiti. Oh, that was, oh, I just saw it. it was a basketball hoop. Okay. I, I don't get that, but you know, okay. Cause it says shoot your shot. I don't know how. To, okay. Yeah. So this is what it was. Oh yeah. Okay. So, oh, chanting. Uh, fuck. Sorry. But look, doesn't this make you want to come next time? <laughs> I, I, anytime I can be of any service to these people, uh, SP TV creators, um, and the second, third, fourth generation Scientologists, um, specifically, it's, it's, it's a way, it's a way to start the conversation. It's the, uh, apparently, apparently we have to do it because that like why is that <laughs> like like they really literally so i was just saying they're literally using taxpayer dollars to abuse people and kids but i think i'm repeating myself um i don't know but i did want to say about this uh sign i think it's really funny that it has cobwebs because that means one of their um children's slaves um hasn't cleaned it literally and that's not funny it's fun because it's not funny we understand yeah it's more just about the fact that they they were caught slipping you know what I mean they want to act like everything they do is perfection and it must always be perfection or it's no good how frustrating and annoying but you know, you have, well, you don't have to do anything, but I have to use humor, humor as a part of my recovery um, because without it, I it just, life doesn't make much sense. So um, I don't know why this is, doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, this is what was right next to us. Look at, look at the beauty, look at the freedom.
when, when fuck. <laughs> it's just so all it's just so so unacceptable that I, I can't I can't wrap my mind around it well, that that Scientology is allowed to continue to abuse people. But, you know, they're good at it. They're good at manipulating their... I mean, obviously, I will always give Elrond credit for creating uh, this self-sustaining mind effery this long. I think somebody said 70 years. I don't know. See the Hollywood sign? Okay, and then so, well, whatever. I was trying to show you where we were. It's kind of hard to describe, but if you've driven by, you can recognize. We were right, right on that corner. And all it cost me was gas money, and I was allowed to be with these people and, and document these moments of courage and strength. That's all I want to do. <laughs> That's all I want to do is create them myself and and take pictures when other people do it. Did I tell the La Poubelle story yet? I'm sure you've heard it on somebody else's side if I haven't. Probably told it twice. I don't know. Look at the beauty. And that was the old name for it, I believe, before Scientology bought it. Because it's a, I think it's a landmark, right? It sure is a beautiful building. <laughs> Jeff and Karen, got to meet them for the first time. Got to meet all these folks for the first time, I think. Yeah. This is when I first saw Serge. I was like, oh my God, it's Serge. I have such a crush on him. I, I pretty probably acted a fool. Sorry, I apologize if I did. But this stuff makes me very uh, emotional. The subject of abuse and the subject of courage and integrity. And just simply saying, here's four hours of my time because it's not okay what's going on. And if there's anything, any word I can say or any thing that will be added by my participation, then I must do it. I can't not 